Hello there, Vinyl community and YouTube. Jorgen S. here. I hope that everything goes well out there with your preparations for Christmas, who is just upon us. Uh, now I'm here to force you to take a little break and, and give you a little breather and watching my celebration of another year, uh, another fantastic pop music year. Uh, this will be the last celebration for 2015, but I will do more celebrations in 2016. Uh, this time I will uh, present the year when uh, Ronald Reagan won his second election as uh, the US, uh, United States President, uh, when uh, Indira Gandhi was shot and uh, when we had Olympic Games in both Los Angeles and Sarajevo. I'm talking about 1984. Uh, 1984 for me uh, had become almost just as iconic as 1985. Uh, mainly because it was a year when I started to uh, get interested in this with the pop music. Uh, I hadn't really developed any kind of huge fascination, but it kept growing more and more, and it, it was it became more and more songs that I listened to uh, when I heard them on the radio, uh, but I didn't act, uh, do an active recording back then. Uh, for those of you wonders, I'm not sure I'm going to show this picture, but. Hey, why not? It's Christmas. This is what I looked like back in 1984. So, that was me back in 1984. Uh, shining happy for the camera. Uh, and uh, at the time I was, of course, in school. I was uh, about nine years old for the ref most of the, of the year. <laughs> and... Uh, had some great time on at the school and, and uh, uh, with friends and so on, and uh, discovered music more and more. And uh, of course, since I hadn't developed fully my musical interest back then, uh, many of these songs that you, I'm going to show you, I have discovered uh, also later in life. So, but it, it's pretty funny how how. Uh, just to hear a, a production, just to hear a, a beat or, or a, a new song with a special kind of a style that sounds so much from, in this case, 1994, still can make you remember and give you nostalgia from that year, even though you didn't listen to exactly that song back in those years. But, but uh, still, it is a song with, with the, the sound that reminds you of, of that year. So, so it's pretty interesting how the human mind works sometimes. Now, enough about the human mind. Uh, let's go to showing music from 1984. And this time it's all about the vinyl. Vinyl singles and full-length vinyls. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, a song that I actually have memories from. Uh, I remember listening to this song on the radio, sitting in the kitchen, uh, making one of my absolute first real uh, recordings uh, for real on the, from radio. Not as I talked before when I put the loudspeakers to the radio, but here's the, one of the first real recordings from radio that I did. And it was this song actually that I actually got fascinated by. Thompson Twins and Lay Your Hands on Me. Uh, a real great, fantastic ballad. Maybe one of the as most beautiful songs that, that uh, Thompson Twins actually have ever done. From the fantastic albums, album Here's to Future Days. Who at that time yet had been had, had to be released. And of course, 
we have to show some the pesh mode uh, these are songs that I discovered a little later on. I, uh, back in 1984, I have, hadn't heard about the Depeche Mode, actually. Uh, Master and Servant, a classic hit from that year. Uh, and uh, we have uh, People Are People, uh, a little song of, for peace. Uh, so, some great, great Depeche Mode hits there. But of course, 1984, as I have said before, was the year when I listened much to Alphaville and the album Forever Young. I'm not going to show that album again. I showed it over and over and over and over and over again because I love it so much. But I can't ignore the fact that I listened to Alphaville, so I picked out two of the singles. Uh, here is uh, Big in Japan, a little overplay song to say the least, but, but still a great hit. And talking about overplayed songs, but it is beautiful, so magnificent produced, you can't deny that. Forever Young, the single. And I also listen to the B-side very, very much. Uh, it is a song that is called uh, Welcome to the Sun. Uh, uh, not a uh, fantastic B-side, but, but still... When I got this single, I listened to this B-side almost just as much as the A-side. Another song that I discovered, I think, almost 10 years later. Orchestral Manoeuvres in the Dark, we're now in the synth era. The best, perhaps the best genre of 1984, the synthesizer era. Uh, OMD, Orchestral Manoeuvres in the Dark, and the song Tesla Girls. A fantastic, fantastic song. Uh, Tina Turner, also an, a very ordinary song back then, but still uh, perhaps one of her best songs, What's Love Got To Do With It. Uh, Paul McCartney had a great year, 1984, released some very great songs. Uh, I love this song. I remember watching a, a television show back then called Baggin with the uh, presenter Kia Bari. And she showed this song, and uh, I remember thinking that it was actually so very, very, very cozy song. No More Lonely Nights. And the same year, uh, he uh, released another, this also song from the animated movie Rupert and the Frog Song. Rupert and the Frog Song. I know that this is actually a song that. Uh, Many Paul McCartney fans absolutely dislike, uh, but I stand with the fact that I think this is so fantastic, well made, that I love it. And it, it, if I didn't know better, I, I would think that it is a Disney song, because it sounds very much Walt Disney. Of course I'm talking about We All Stand Together, Paul McCartney and the Frog Chorus. A uh, little cheesy, but I love this song, and I stand, I stand with that, I stand for that. Scritti Politti, from one of the best albums of the year and one of the best albums ever, Jupiter and Psyche, uh, 1985. That album had yet to be released, but the single is from 1984. One of the absolute best songs that Scritti Politti released. Absolute, real disco hit. This is a song with a, fa a real fantastic story. I don't know if I told you that, this uh, story about this single. If I have, forgive me, but I guess I have new subscribers that haven't heard of that. Uh, this is Naked Eyes, uh, British fantastic synth pop group, uh, with the song What in the Name of Love. And yet again, I was watching Baggin with Kia Bari and heard this song, uh, and absolutely loved the synthesizers in this song. Uh, I remember recording it from television <laughs> to a cassette tape, sounded horrible, but for almost 20 years, that was everything, anything, all that I had of this song. I had no clue who it was who was singing it, I had no clue what the song title was, other than I guess that it was called What in the Name of Love. Uh, and 10 years ago, 11 years ago, uh, at a discussion forum for 80s music, I found out that it was Naked Eyes actually. 
and happy I was hoping to find this single. One day I was standing at the record store we had back then, Harvest Records, the one who shut down almost immediately when I started doing videos. And uh, I, I was digging through the single box, watched it and watched and put them away and I'm not going to have that one and uh, Naked Eyes, What in the Name of Love, never heard of, and started to dig through it and, and just it struck me Naked eyes, what in the name of love? Back to to do the the, the, uh, the pile of singles that I have put away. It is the single I've been searching for since my childhood, and I felt how donkey ears were coming out of my head for for not realizing that this actually was the single that I've been searching for. I almost gave it away, but I st I got it as you can see. A funny little story about how. Uh, wrong it can be sometime when you're digging in a record store. Nena had a great year 1994. Most of you have heard uh, 99 Red Balloons. Very overplayed song. Still a great produced great song, but uh, I heard it a little too much. But instead, I really like to uh, show a sing the, the, another single with a band that came the same year that is so fantastic good. Uh, totally forgotten single that in my eyes man, it's a proof that Nina was no one hit wonder. Irgendwie, irgendwo, irgendwann. Uh, and uh, was a minor hit here in Sweden. Uh, and uh, also was made in a new version in t 10 years later, I think, with Kim Wilde and Nina. This was also a hit that I remember hearing some time as a child. Corey Hart, Sunglasses at Night. Maybe the best song Corey Hart had, even though it uh, had some other great songs. Also, I love the song Never Surrender. Breakdance. The dancing style that everybody tried to do back in 1984. Even me. Break Machine, Street Dance. Yes, I tried to do some break dancing when I was a kid. Uh, it didn't go all that well. I, I wasn't all that good. So I quit doing it, realizing that. Synthesizer music. Industry, State of the Nation. One of the best new wave songs from 1984. Really li like this song. Uh, sleeve not all that good, but the single is fantastic and totally forgotten today. And speaking of totally forgotten new wave songs, this is one of the best songs ever in my eyes. A Fiction Factory feels like heaven. So fantastic, relaxing and great song. Uh, really like the sound and, and the production uh, and uh, really great fantastic album also to, to this song, Throw the Warp Wheel Out. And uh, this band, of course, is labeled as a one-hit wonder. I don't deny that. It was their only hit, even though it wasn't the only song that they did that was good. As I said, their album was good. And the follow-up single, Ghost of Love, highly recommended. Check that out. Uh, as usual, I will do a little uh, list of links to YouTube links for, for many of these songs in, in the description area. And uh, you will find this song. Check that out. Uh, this sleeve is horrible, I know, but, but the song is fantastic. I couldn't show Cindy Lauper's She's So Unusual, but, but uh, it says that that album was released back in 1983, I think. Uh, but this single was released in 1984. And I, I loved this song from the first time that I heard it. And unfortunately, I didn't hear it in 1984. I heard it maybe 11 years later. She Bop. Uh, so awesome produced, really, really fantastic uh, production. And, of course, some Italo Disco. There's some great Italo Disco back then with Mike Francis and uh, had Ruff and, and uh, uh, you had Fun Fun. Color my love. 
a really really great great 80s disco track some of the best albums that were released in back in 1984 I've shown this one multiple times but I had to show it again because it came in 1984 and it was fantastic alarm with declaration uh, back at the time they also had a hit with the chant has just begun that I don't have on single and it's actually not on this album for some reason but I can highly recommend that this the song where were you hiding when this storm storm broke really really great song here real life from Australia with heartland uh, real life had a huge hit with a song uh, send me an angel a fantastic and really really great uh, new wave synth song uh, sadly forgotten is the follow-up single that never became a hit and I still don't understand why it may be one of the most underrated songs of the 80s I'm talking about the song open hearted that I think it is magical it is mysterious and and it's atmospheric I love that song open-hearted really fantastic song from a great great album uh, soundtrack from a movie that I haven't seen yet but uh, I bought the soundtrack uh, I think about 15 years ago and I fell in love with it from the first time because it was so fun filled with so much great synth pop music the uh, soundtrack from the movie Electric Dreams. This is filled with so many great songs. You're having uh, the single Electric Dreams with P.P. P. Arnold. Fantastic, really forgotten, great, great song. And you have Together in Electric Dreams with uh, Phil Oakey from Human League and Georgia Marauder. You're having Jeff Lynn here, Culture Club, uh, and Heaven 17 is here. So it fills some great artists and some really great, great. Uh, 80s music here. Uh, another really classic foreigner agent provocateur with the major hit single I Wanna Know What Love is. Also another song that should be labeled as overplayed but I can't I can't stop listening to it because I think it's so magnificent made. So fantastic made. Uh, and uh, fantastic uh, background course also by Jennifer Holiday. So, so a really really great song and also another great singer from this album that was Yesterday. Uh, the Cars of course had a great year 1984 the uh, album Heartbeat City that contains some of their absolute biggest hits having a, You Might Think you're having Hello Again and of course, I don't know if uh, that one is on, yeah, you see on this album, uh, Drive, uh, that I think is their biggest hit in the career. But this is fantastic album. I think Hello Again is such a fantastic, fantastic, uh, great, great happy song. Uh, really like that song and also like the video. Uh, more for the synthesizer style. Howard Jones debut album, You Must Live. Uh, really, really 80s classic. Uh, of course, uh, Dream Into Action that was released in uh, 1985. It's also a fantastic album. Uh, and uh, was shown that he was such a great, great artist uh, that uh, really knew this about synthesizing music in the 80s. And I have a couple of Swedish albums as well, uh, or should I more to the artists actually. Uh, there was a Swedish band back in the 80s that I unfortunately never discovered. I heard about them back in the 80s, but I never discovered them until I think almost 20 years later. How great they actually were. It is it's an uh, indie rock band uh, from Stockholm. That is uh, called Commando M Pig. 
uh, M pig as in M mouse. The, the, from the beginning, they were called uh, come on, Commando Musse pig. Uh, and Musse pig, of course, is a Swedish word for Mickey Mouse. But Walt Disney wasn't all too pleased, so they shortened the name to M pig. Uh, but, but this is a fantastic album uh, called En stjärna bland faror, a star among dangers. Uh, a really fantastic song with thoughtful and poetic uh, lyrics, uh, great rock and roll and, and uh, magic sound. Uh, and uh, I really like Eva Sunison, the vocalist voice. A really, really awesome, highly recommended album from a highly recommended band. Unfortunately, they're singing in Swedish, but, but uh, the music is awesome. And 1984 was also a great year for a band called Imperiet, uh, in English, the Empire. Uh, Imperiet, who is a rock and roll group, a uh, little in the same style as Commando and Pig, with the singer Joachim Tåström. Uh, they had some great hits in 1984, like See, See Cowboys and, and uh, Du ska vara president, You should be president. Uh, this is a mini LP, mini LP that was released in back in 1984 uh, and uh, that I didn't know existed until I visited Stockholm a couple of years ago when I found it. I was so happy. I got it for, as you can see, around $4. Uh, really, really great, great album. And, as usual, I'm going to point out, finally, which song that was the biggest hit in Sweden back in 1984. And it was tough actually because back in those days there were no hit charts more than tracks chart. Uh, but uh, from what I have read uh, when it, and seen when it comes to uh, hit charts back then, uh, had, in afterwards they have been releasing some figures, but, but some numbers, but uh, uh, this is the song that actually was the most selling back in 1984. Uh, I don't have the single for some... I thought I had the single, but I don't. don't understand why. Because it's such an ordinary song. But I have the album, or should I say the soundtrack, for the motion picture Woman in Red. And then you all have figured out that the most selling single in Sweden was uh, I Just Called to Say I Love You by Stevie Wonder. Maybe a little overplayed, uh, but still a really nice, cozy song. And, uh, of course, since it's Christmas time, 1984 was a year when it came so many Christmas songs. Uh, you had uh, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, The Power of Love came that year. You had uh, Band Aid, Do They Know It's Christmas. You had Wham's Last Christmas. Uh, some of the iconic Christmas songs that we still uh, uh, is connecting with Christmas were released this year. And with that, uh, I'm not going to say Merry Christmas yet because I think I will have the time to do another one more video before Christmas Eve. But uh, until next time, I hope that you have enjoyed my little walk through this year of 1984 and uh, that you have a really nice continuum of the week. And till next time, see ya.